guys with Kayla kind of back with another video. Now I'm into J pop now. It's whole whole new level. Whole new level. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, K pop because it's Korean pop music. Yeah. So many facets, I tell Maybe. you. <laughs> Visuals for the songs. Always out of like ah. it's like the sincerity of their visuals. Yeah. Whoever they have, like, but I've always noticed that, like, I feel like um Asian people when they create, when they create, I notice any productions that are led by um like Asian producers, directors. There's like a certain like. Um, Certain clarity they bring to that, like their directing and their creative control. That's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where it comes from. Put your hands up. 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 got seven. I forgot his name, but he is so cute. I don't know. It probably is the rapper. I don't even know. But you can get a smiley and a wink. Like, it's just because so much music coming out. And I'm like, how do people yeah. up? I'm I, I feel like with quarantine, like every artist was just dropping project after project because they didn't have anything to do. Should I have gotten the Queen's version of this? I'm, listening to like, I'm not proud of it, but you know, I like NBA Youngboy and Anneli Chopper. I don't know why. Very uplifting. Oh. Um, but no, I haven't watched it. Oh my god. I have gosh. to. I have to. I know I have to. Yes, you definitely have to. It was so inspiring. Oh my gosh. Then when I went watch Black is King, the visuals kind of bring the song to life sometimes for me. Yeah. So um, I, there was this one song called Keys to the Kingdom, and it's the scene in Black is King where basically like the metaphorical Simba is getting married um, right after he's getting married, and they're kind of like celebrating. And there's like just all these scenes from like all different people from all uh, different walks of life in Africa, just kind of celebrating that. And I don't know why that like had an effect on me, but it made me really love the song. And I started playing the song everywhere. And it's like inspiring because the main chorus is saying, you have the keys to the kingdom. So I don't know why. Oh, it's fire. Though. Yes, that song flat. Cause her vocals are crazy. Give me very, um, it's this show on Netflix. It's like old about like hip hop back in the day. I forgot what it was called. My dad was really into that. <laughs> oh, the, I know. He was like, this is what we were doing in the Bronx, in the Bronx, Bronx, Bronx. I got the same thing, so it's okay. My dad. Yes, like, okay. Yeah, Can we talk about we that? Doing <laughs> in the Bronx. And I'm like, okay, do you need a hat turned sideways? <laughs> <laughs> There's like a little bit of because I'm such a fanatic for music, mm -hmm. it's kind of cool to know like my dad and our family was part of like that rising of hip hop during that time. Yeah. So it's kind of cool to know that. And the cover of the <laughs> the cover of the project is actually he's actually naked on. Oh. So I guess he was proud of himself. <laughs> That's my cat. If he comes, he can he can say hi, but he better not attack. Oh. <laughs> Five years from now, he's like the biggest thing. Yeah, especially I've seen like friends. people in like his comments of multiple of his songs. People were like comparing him to like a beginner J. Cole, like when J. Cole first started yeah. trying to find his way. That's the only thing that kind of like worries me is because a lot of times when artists come out and they're compared to a to a, a big artist mm -hmm. right, right out of the gate, they usually they usually kind of fall flat. Like they might gain a little momentum, but then they fall flat. And that's the only thing. I just hope yeah. that he figures out like his own identity. Cause he sounds good. I cannot take his skill from, it from just, him. He yeah, sounds it's good. It's gonna come down to like, what what can he offer that J. Cole can't? And it's, you know, yeah. it's just gonna yeah. come down to that. And I guess that's where he'll go. Yeah. I remember there was an artist, um, He's gotten himself in a lot of drama now, but there was this artist named KR. I used to listen, I discovered him on SoundCloud uh -huh. and I became obsessed with him. Like his music was just fire. It was like, it was, it was like rap. It was like techno. It was like a little bit of everything. And he has a very expressive voice. And the thing is that he was making music before Chance the Rapper got popular, uh -huh. but he started getting attention after Chance got popular and everybody was saying, 
oh, he sounds like he sounds just like Chance the Rapper. He's copying Chance's style. And I'm like, he was out and doing stuff before Chance the Rapper was popular. So it's not that he's copying his style. That music was already out there. But um, he kind of is off the grid now because he went to jail for something. But I was like, so like, I was looking forward to him blowing up, but it never happened. Kind of sad. It happens. It happens. But I still listen to his old stuff because it just it takes me back to that time. Yeah, that's a that's a good song. He's a good alternative to uh, late. Is he really great, R. Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> so, so no, when you want to feel like stepping in the name of love and don't want to get the backlash for it, listen to Anthony. <laughs> Eddie's more wholesome just in general. So yeah, true, true. He just—it's like even when you just see him, like he doesn't have to sing yet, but you just know, like, oh, you're about to bring it. Yeah, like, yeah. That's so funny. He's gonna bring all the good feels, yeah. all the good home cooked oh, feels. <laughs> home cooked buttery feels. Yes. For real. The sky, I know that I miss you tonight. Tonight.